If my wife or one of my children needed a central line, I would ask two questions. I would need to know the experience of the individual who's placing the line and whether or not he or she is using ultrasound. And if they're not using ultrasound, I would find another doctor. When I came to Houston at Memorial Hermann, I became aware that ultrasound wasn't being used for central line insertion, uh, either in our hospitals or in the general medical uh, community. It is just like a driving blindly on the road versus uh, driving with your total vision, right? It gives you total confidence and uh, certainty about what you're doing and what is happening to the patient, which is the most important thing. I presented the results of uh, the use of ultrasound at Cedar sinai and also results in the literature from around the world showing that the injuries from central line insertion can be reduced if not eliminated with ultrasound guidance. You cannot achieve the kind of numbers that have been achieved nationwide without using ultrasound. We're in an era now where we say, well, central lines should not cause pneumothoraxes. It should be a rarity rather than a acceptability. And that's where we're doing in this hospital, trying to show that you can do a lot of lines without doing pneumothorax, and we have been able to do so so far. In fact, for two of our hospitals, they've recorded over a year's worth of practice in the hospital without the occurrence of a single iatrogenic pneumothorax. These are considered never events, certainly by Medicare, and probably will be never events by insurance companies, and probably will be never events from the legal system. So that's really three good reasons other than intellectually wanting to do the right thing. We've actually created a new award for hospitals that are achieving zero iatrogenic pneumothoraces for a whole year. We're going for zero. This is amazing. And actually, uh, I didn't even mention it, but we've uh, our, our emergency departments, um, we have nine of them busy. We saw over 400,000 visits last year. They place a lot of central lines. They use ultrasound. And uh, it is amazing, but we had no iatrogenic pneumothorax for the whole year. We're talking about emergencies. We're talking about level one trauma. It's pretty amazing. Two weeks back, uh, I have a patient in the uh, ICU, almost 350 or 380 pounds. Blood pressure was in 60s. Neck was barely visible. Groin we cannot access. And we got the ultrasound, was able to look at the IJ, and we put the line in. And that was the best thing because it was middle of night almost and we need a line and we got it. The patient did very well and eventually she got out of the ICU. <laughs>